I've got the beautiful view of downtown Vancouver and he's like in my ear telling me this murder story. It's like a true crime podcast, live, with a family member. Hello, my name is Amy, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be doing another Storytime Sunday. I keep calling them Storytime Sundays even though it's not Sunday whenever I upload them, but it has a nice ring to it, I think. Okay, so this story is about... I guess I'll just launch into it. Okay, so I was in Vancouver last summer. So basically I arrived, my first week there, I was taking my sister. So the first weekend, I was like, kind of wanted to drink and go out and she was like, not, not really feeling it. She was like, there's this Facebook page called Irish and New in Vancouver. It's like a Facebook page full of Irish people in Vancouver. Kind of like people trying to make friends and stuff. She was like, go on and see if like, maybe there's a group going out or something. I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'd be down for meeting a bunch of random strangers. So I go on and I notice that like an hour ago, this guy posted being like, anyone want to go for drinks tonight, like in downtown? So we were actually, she actually lived in downtown Vancouver. Um, it got no replies and it got one like. So naturally, I was like, yeah, I'll go meet this random guy. And I know this is going to sound stupid, but like, I looked him up and he was like really good looking. So I was like, how bad could it be? Like in my brain, I was like, he's good looking, therefore he must be normal. And um, so I, I messaged him and I'm like, hey, you still want, are looking for people to go for drinks with you? <laughs> he was like, yeah, so random. So basically I go meet him for the drinks, but like obviously this page is for people to try and make friends. But like, it was only me and him in for drinks. And then it was kind of like, it just seemed like a date. Like it wasn't a date, but like, it seemed like a date. Plus he was from I was like, that page is Irish and new in Vancouver. Why are you, what are you lurking on there for? Anyway, so I meet him and it's kind of weird because we're like, it was just like we were on a date straight away. It was weird. We did end up kissing, not gonna lie. So yeah. So the next day, we hung out the whole next day. We like went to this park and we were walking around and whatever. So at one point, he like casually mentions um, that his dad had been in prison. So I was like, okay. And I like didn't ask. I don't even know how it came up. He bought a house in and his dad now lives there. So his dad came out of prison and he was like, he put him up in his, in his house. So I was like, father was in prison, okay. Anyway, and then basically, I think at one point he mentioned, he said, he kept, oh, he was talking about his mom and like he was talking about her past tense. I was like, oh shit, she must have died. I think he mentioned something about like her being gone for like five years or something. So I was like, oh god, that's quite sad. Like his mom died. And I didn't ask him anything. Um, bear in mind, this is like the second day of knowing him. And I'm like, okay, mother is dead and father had been in prison. Anyway, that was fine. Fast forward a couple days and um, we go on an, a very fancy date actually. Brought me to a really nice restaurant. There was like, a really nice view, whatever, anyway. So once again, he like brings up his dad. I was like, pfft. I was like, I'm going for it. Like, you know, you know me. Well, if you're new to this channel, you don't know me at all. If you aren't new to this channel, then you do know me and you know that of course I would ask, you know, what did your dad do for him to be in jail? He was like, so, um, he was like, so my dad killed my mom. And uh, I was like, wait, what the? <laughs> I was like, check, yeah. Can we get the check? Stop. So like, I'm like, Whoa, is this happening? I'm on a date with a guy whose father murdered his mother. He killed, the dad killed the mom. I, I was, and I was trying to like compose myself and not be too like, oh my God, I'm horrified. You know what I mean? I was like, oh no way, like, tell me more. Like, as if I hear this every day, like, oh, father killed mother, ah, uh, that's the second one I've heard about this week. Like I was trying to remain like non-judgmental and I was fucking mad. Basically, um, basically, uh, um, basically, basically, long story short, they had separated and they were living in separate places, uh, houses, whatever. And one day the dad called to the mom's house and they started having a fight, right? They started having an argument and then he stabbed her. 10 times. I'm like, he's telling me this. We're in, a, we're in a nice restaurant. Like, the food is expensive. Do you know what I mean? I was, I was <laughs> in fairness, he brought me to a nice restaurant and I'm like dressed up. Like, we've got the beautiful view of downtown Vancouver and he's like in my ear telling me this murder story. 
It's like a true crime podcast, live, with a family member. It was honestly insane. So his dad stabbed his mom to death. He stabbed her to death. I don't know if that's coming across. Like I Googled it. I obviously went home last day and was like frantically like trying to find out. Like it was on the news in <laughs> Oh so it's, no, I probably should block out where he's from. I'm gonna block out where he's from, just, I don't know, just in case he comes after me, I don't know. Yeah, there was an article like in the paper about it at the time. And that's when I found out that he stabbed her 10 times. I mean, obviously your man didn't say that. But yeah, she was stabbed 10 times and he went to jail. And then he got caught out of jail and your mom was like, yeah, dad, no problem, you can stay in my house. And basically him and his brother like don't speak because the brother is like pissed off at him for letting the dad live in his house, which I'm kind of like, fair enough. Yeah, so I'm on the date and he's telling me this. And I'm just like, I don't even know. He was like telling me all the gossip, do you know what I mean? I'm, Getting all the insides and outsides to family gossip. Sorry, that's so bad. It's always not gossip, like murder story. I guess that's the end of the story. <laughs> that was f***ed up. I'm sorry, that was f***ed up. Can you imagine being on a date with a guy or a girl and the next thing they're being like, so my father killed my mother and then he went to jail and you know she's dead now because my dad killed her. Yeah, and then, um, oh, and then, I completely forgot about this. I don't know how we got talking about this, but then at one point, he was like, I'd be disappointed if I had a son and he turned out to be gay. <laughs> at this point, I was like, no, seriously, check. No, actually, check this time. I was being, uh, yeah, uh, ASAP. Yeah, I don't know how we got talking about children and if they were gay, I have no idea. I was like, tr I was trying to kind of like rein him back in, be like, whoa, whoa. I was like, no, you you wouldn't, like you really wouldn't. I know you think that, like, I don't think that, like he obviously thought that, but I was like, no, I really feel like once you had a son, you would just love them, like unconditionally. Like, people apparently wouldn't be a lot of children. It's just like insane love. And I was like, I, I really, like, if he came out as gay, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't care. Like, I'm trying to offer him a path to be like, yeah, you're right, never mind. I don't know, that guy was saying all that crazy shit. He was like, no, like, I think I would. Like, do you know what I mean? Like you want your son to be like manly and then I think you'd be a little bit like disappointed if he turned out to be gay. Oh, I was like, and I think at this point I was like, I can't even hide my face anymore. And he was like, he was like, I've ruined it. Haven't I? I've ruined it. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, yeah, you have ruined it. You absolutely have ruined it. You're homophobic. Of course you're ruining it. Two of my best friends are gay. I've got family members that are gay. My uncle's gay. Regardless, even if I knew no gay people, like that's homophobic. And I think I said to him, I was like, I was like, that's homophobic. He was like, this is classic. He was like, no, like I love gay people, but like, ugh. I love gay people, but I just don't want them in my family. Like, can you imagine saying that on a date? Bear in mind, like I know I met him a couple days ago, but this was like technically like our first date. Can you imagine going on a first date and all this is, thrown at you. Murder. By the way, I'm also a homophobe. And I was just like, whoa, I don't know where to look. He was, uh, I had to cut him loose. I really know how to pick them. I really know how to pick them. Well, no, this is completely my fault. I met a random stranger from Facebook. So I really have only myself to blame, as per usual. That's probably the most bizarre first date I've ever been on. That's, sorry, that's definitely the most bizarre date, first date I've ever been on. A guy tells me about a murder in his family. Yep, that's definitely the most insane date I've ever been on. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Be safe out there online the internet dating because it's scary. It is scary. Do I keep doing it? Yes. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this uh, drivel, I guess. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.